Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. Today's a new day. We've got a bookshelf and some new stuff going on. So let's get to it. Welcome back to our channel, like I said. We got some new stuff going on, uh, but today is a little different. Uh, we've got uh, coffee time that we're still doing. We still plan on doing coffee time videos here and there. Uh, today would be one of those if I had remembered to make coffee. Uh, made it, drank it, and then realized oh, I should do a video and didn't have time to make another cup of coffee. So anyways, this could still be coffee time. So anyways, uh, basically something that has come across my mind and it's a little inspirational. Uh, it came from watching YouTube videos this morning while drinking coffee. Uh, the, the thing is, what makes us different? That's kind of what I got from some of the videos I was watching this morning. They were talking kind of about uh, like how, like we kind of all use the same stuff now. We all use the same speakers and microphones and you know interfaces and software and all this stuff. It's all kind of the same now. Like there's some differential things, but we're also kind of in similar rooms. Like a lot of us are in bedrooms. So that's kind of everybody's bedroom's kind of the same. It's a big square box. Um, we are not in a bedroom. Actually, we are in a dining room. Uh, more on that later. But the whole thing of we're all using the same stuff and everything's gonna kind of just sound the same or really similar. And if you think about like the 60s, 70s and early days of recording studios and the recording process, there was a lot of not that going on. A lot of it was different. There was a lot of different uh, consoles and different speakers and stuff that was made by the studios for that studio and which was fine there was still some stuff that was this, done the same a lot of the music was still kind of the same style of music there was pop and there was rock and there was country and you know that that was still kind of all the same but the process was each process was different uh, while the Elvis, early Elvis stuff was done with one microphone, you know, or like the Beatles did four track, you know, you know, they kind of figured out ways to get around their limitations, but we kind of don't have those limitations anymore. Like you can dump, I don't know how many, however much your interface will handle, you can dump that much audio into a software, record it, mix it and have a song. There's people who have 128 to 200 tracks in a song, which in my opinion is almost too much. But uh, that's a different problem for a different day. Uh, I just think that we should get to a point to where maybe try to figure out what makes us different or differentiates us from everybody. Uh, differentiate your space, kind of switch things up. Use different pieces of hardware that you may have not thought about using. Like maybe you got an old, you know, Casio keyboard in the corner that you're like, ah, oh, it's a piece of junk, but maybe it makes a cool sound, you know? Uh, or you got an old guitar that, you know, just doesn't work well, but could sound cool on something. But try to find not just sounds that, that make you different, but ways to do things differently. Uh, I use a lot of hardware. You know, if you may have not noticed in any of my videos, we use a lot of hardware here and I love hardware, it holds its value. Doesn't usually crash. If it does, there's a problem. There's a big problem. <laughs> uh, but there's not like software, it's like, oh, this piece of software is out of date and now it doesn't open. It's like, oh, that piece of hardware is out of date. Okay, it's just because it was made in 1979 and now it's, you know, 2024. You know, it's things like that that are different and just kind of try to think of ways to make yourself different, make your space different. We have done the same. We're con constantly trying to make our space different, but also better because we don't want to make it different and then make things worse. Uh, that wouldn't be good. But that's kind of all I've got today is just how do we make things different? I every day try to think the same thing. What do I make things different? How do I make the channel different? How do I make my recording sound better, but also different from everybody else's? Uh, that's just kind of the thought. So if you like this video, or if you don't, I don't care. Uh, just hit the like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And for those who have, thank you. We highly appreciate it. We're still trying to get up to the 500 mark, but you know, maybe we'll do some sort of giveaway or, or something special if we hit 500, and, you know, I don't know. It's a thought. Anyways, go make some music and try to be different. We'll see you next time.